folks, it's uh, Gary GSF on another momentous day, day in the Gary GSF household. Uh, another vehicle's leave, leaving the stable and being replaced by something else. The something else I'll show you is a bit different uh, in another video, but I'll just show you what's leaving now. That's it, that's my 2020 uh, SH125i. Now, the Eagle Eye will tell you, will notice that it is a 2019 model. By this uh, it doesn't have a digital dash but everything else is the same the the engines the same the, the uh, all the run gears the same so I'll go for a little ride on it uh, and discuss what what I liked and what I didn't like about it uh, essentially it's a good bike uh, comes standard with that top box on it uh, very handy I always have a top box on the bike anyway uh, even though I don't like the look of them uh, but the convenience it makes a big difference for them. Um, only accessory I put on was this screen. It's a Quig screen. It's a, a city screen, I think they called it. Now, um, it uh, it's fine. The, uh, the only problem was that uh, when you got over about 50 miles per hour, the screen would tilt back, uh, and, and instead of breaking the clips, I, I decided to do a wee modification. If you have a look in there. It's a little hole drilled in the screen, and I've put a cable tie on it, so uh, it comes around the original bracket off it, so it doesn't come back, and also it makes it an adjustable screen, so you can put the, the length of the cable ties is where you want the, the screen to be tilted to, uh, and it made a difference, a very inexpensive screen, it was less than £50, uh, and I was well impressed, but uh, yeah. All in all, a nice little scooter, but uh, I'll discuss it. Oh, yes, there's another thing I did, but I always do as well. Uh, if you notice, fork gators. Because the they use salt in the roads here, uh, I think that's a, a, a must for any any bike that's used all year round. So uh, I've got fork gators, so the, 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 the vehicles are placing it. So. Right, another thing that I quite liked in this was the storage space. Um, you have here, if you just open that up, you have storage space with a 12 volt outlet rather rather handy charging your phone or whatever switch this to accessory bit and press that that's your seat open so you've got quite a bit of storage there i keep a lot of shizzle as i would call it in underneath there a lot of crap um but uh, that will face hold a full face helmet and also in the top box you have plenty of storage and that top box is uh, detachable again you can get another full face helmet in there even with all that stuff that's in it at the moment so so oh no there's plenty to like there you go uh, we'll get out for a bit of a run on it now right this little SH125 has a keyless ride uh, so I just have to have my key in my pocket and uh, yeah, just press a button. And it's a funny setup. The alternator uh, twins as the starter motor with a little decompression, uh, and it starts. And you maybe you'll hardly even hear it start here. There you go. That's it running. So uh, that's one leg. It also has idling stop. So when the engine's warm and you put up uh, the traffic lights, the uh, engine cuts off. And as soon as you start to twist the throttle, it fires up again, and away you go. Uh, that's a well, that's another thing I liked. On the likes as well, um, I love the the tall riding position uh, because it has sixteen inch wheels. Uh, it has a really nice tall riding position, uh, and there's certainly enough room and on the, on the platform and that. Um, the big, biggest boon for this this vehicle is the fuel consumption. Um, fuel consumption is sitting there at the moment, 107 miles per gallon. That's regular enough. Uh, and I live around about two and a half, three miles from work, so it's the hardest miles you'll ever do. Uh, and I have never see, seen it going under 96 miles per gallon. So uh, uh, that's it's pretty damn good. It's uh, for a commuter, that's great. 
One of the things that's strange about it, now that's, these are, those are things that, that I really do like about it. Another thing that's strange about it, um, it has 16 inch wheels front and back. Now, back in the day on motorbikes, 16 inch wheels were notorious uh, for falling into corners. And I thought with these both being 16 inch, that wouldn't do that. And boys, it does. It's um, and it's, it's quite vague handling. So uh, <laughs> and it ha hasn't been. Uh, it's not the, the best handler in the world. Um, now nah, you do get used to it, uh, and you do learn to trust it. But it does take a while. And also, um, with me riding a motorbike as well, I tend to counter steer. You need to be going quite quick in this for counter steering to work. Um, so. Uh, I had to modify my riding style for this scooter, but again, that's uh, if you're just coming from riding a scooter, you'll probably find it fine. Uh, it's just for me riding a motorbike. The, there is that difference. Um, now, the tires that come on it, uh, absolutely useless, absolutely useless. Um, I'll put on the screen what what tires they are. Uh, in the drive, they're absolutely fine really fine and in, in the dry uh, put a wet road on and there's really not a lot of grip um, and living in Ireland Northern Ireland whatever you want to call it uh, you'll find that um, that it doesn't give a whole heap of grip and uh, can be quite disconcerting at times uh, that's again I've ridden around it uh, but I've had other scooters that are, even with smaller wheels that have been great in uh, wet weather where this is not. This is uh, uh, that can be quite scary at times. But again, you you ride around that, uh, and it's, uh, a lot of it could be to do with uh, me being used to a motorbike. Um, speed wise, can't fault that either. It'll get to 60 miles an hour every day of the week, uh, and over it. Now, if I'm sitting in the headwind, it'll still sit at 60 miles an hour, and you know that's still comfortable in the motorway. Um, keep it at it, and in the right conditions, it'll show 75 miles per hour in the speedo. Now I know there's going to be speedo inaccuracies there, but uh, it's ample quick for anyone in the scooter. Ample quick. Uh, so uh, there's ne never been an issue with performance, and uh, you could even uh, use it in the motorway. Uh, you know, sitting at 65 miles per hour, it doesn't seem to hurt the thing, it seems to be just run, singing along just lovely. You push it a wee bit more than 65 and you start to know about it. Um, another thing that I dislike about it, but this is this is all scooters, well most scooters are very few that have stainless steel exhaust, but the common mild steel exhaust, and I've had the exhaust off this twice, uh, and rubbed it down, and uh, and dress it up, and uh, I put heatproof paint on it and that, and uh, yes, great, it, um, it, 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 it lasts for six, seven, eight months, um, and uh, it, it's just getting ready to need to be do, doing again. But it's now traded in. But when I went to the, the, the show to trade it in, it was uh, oh boys, it was it was like brand new the exhaust, you know. But you're starting it's starting to peek through now a little bit of the the tin worm. Um, so there you go. I've got near three thousand miles on it. Um, and the, the weight little scooter has been good to me. Um, uh, so there's things that ha I haven't liked about it, but there's there's lots to like about it. Um, so it's, it's near two year old. Um, I bought it in January 2020. Uh, so it was the last year's model, so I got a good enough deal on it. And uh, it's now this is December 2021. So it's it's near enough two year old. Uh, Never a cough or bother out of it. Um, it just starts, goes, and is easy in fuel. Uh, handling issues aside, it's a good scooter, um, but uh, yeah, yeah, it can handle all right. But just, it just takes you a while to trust it. Um, so for me, I give this a good four stars. Uh, just the handling is not what you call wonderful, um, but everything else about it is is really good. Says um, it's easy on fuel. Uh, it's, it's plenty fast enough. Uh, the traffic light Grand Prix, you, you got 
boys and cars having to rev the nuts off it to try and get past you and they're, it really does annoy them. Uh, but, uh, no, it has been a good scooter. Um, so this is another day and a half to go and I pick up the new one. So it's supposed to rain tomorrow. That's why I'm doing the, doing the video today. It has rained, but uh, it's supposed to really rain tomorrow and high winds and stuff. So uh, I'll just leave, leave it at that. But uh, if you're thinking of buying one, uh, ask me whatever questions you want. I'll try and answer them as honestly and as possible. Um, it, I'll say I, I hope it didn't sound too critical all because I'm not that critical of it. It's just a, and I know there is handling issues on it, uh, which uh, I would have thought with the 16 inch wheels wouldn't have been there, but actually are. So, but. That's my honest opinion of the little 2020 uh, SH125 Honda, SH125i. Um, folks, thanks for watching. Um, hope this has been informative if anyone's looking to buy one of these things. And uh, talk again, and uh, my next video should be the, the, the new one. So, uh, uh, let, let, I've been waiting three months on it, so it's uh, over three months on it, so I'm looking forward to it now. So uh, for now, Gary GSF signing off and wishing everyone safe riding and talk soon. One thing I did forget to, to mention was the brakes are a really important part of a, uh, a, a review. The brakes are absolutely fantastic. Uh, do need a good squeeze, uh, but they have plenty of feel. And um, uh, probably with 16 inch wheels, uh, they, they, they are, you know, got really good feel. Um, that's uh, not much much more to say uh, discs front and back with ABS um, so really is uh, all you would need to stop the bike so that's the the last wee NB for that uh, thanks for watching again bye again <laughs>